PwC is knowledge partner at the Asian Financial Forum 2016 here in Hong Kong. And markets leader Frank Lin is discussing the question of outbound Chinese investment. Well, looking at the trends in 2016, Frank, what do you see ahead? 2016 is going to be a very, very interesting year. I mean, if you look at 2015, um, you have actually seen a lot of privately owned enterprises going overseas together with some of the private equities, um, buying into a lot of interesting assets, um, including some of these very well-known brands around the globe, but particularly in some of the sort of mature economies. I will see that trend to be actually continuing. And the second thing that I will also add is that I will expect that the actual dollar value or the volume is actually going to be increasing um, continuously in 2016. And so would you see outbound Chinese investment being encouraged really by the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative? Oh, absolutely. I think the Belt and Road can only be, you know, uh, complementary to the overall outbound investment strategy of some of the Chinese government and as well as the Chinese companies. And I think on the outbound investments, obviously it's going to be focusing on a lot of mature economies' assets. But for one bell, one row, I would say that moving forward, you are actually going to be seeing a lot of more investments in some of the sort of emerging economies in ASEAN countries, in obviously um, Africa and other parts of the world as well. So given this investment trend, where do you see Hong Kong really sitting? Is it a jumping off point for that investment? I'm absolutely glad that you asked this, this, this great question because actually Hong Kong has always been really a financial center for the region and also the commercial center and also the capital markets of this part of the world. So combined with all that and the professionals that we have on the ground here working in China and our part of the world, re really this is really the preeminent soft power or the, in Chinese it's Ren Sili that is really present in Hong Kong that can actually help all the companies from China and Hong Kong going overseas Asia shaping the new paradigm for growth. That's the theme at the Asian Financial Forum 2016. But how does Chinese investment really sit with that? Is it the most important part of the paradigm? This has already begun in the last two or three years. It's just that it, the volume has actually increased substantially. So we are probably going to be seeing that kind of increase continuously for the next few years. And I think you are actually going to be seeing Hong Kong playing that major role for outbound investments and as well as for uh, One Belt, One Road. And so how important will the Asian Financial Forum really be in looking at this new paradigm? I think Asian Financial Forum is going to be the uh, the, the medium that actually going to be bringing all the key stakeholders and let them know that what we can do for the Chinese companies going overseas.